everybody, Clint here with Classic Firearms, out here at Take Aim Training and Range. And I just changed the position of my optic on my 308 build here. And uh, because that, because I changed it, it's gonna throw off my zero. I also may have just twisted up the knobs in any random direction just to show you guys how to zero your rifle. So hopefully we make rounds on target here. But anyway, this video is gonna be kind of like how to zero your rifle. And of course, one way to do it is cheating, right? By using a laser bore sight. It's pretty simple. I won't trust a laser bore sight for precision. Only a bullet's gonna give you a precise point of impact, right? Uh, but what's really cool about taking some of these systems and this is an entire aim shot laser bore sight kit and uh, the ones we got here it comes in this two pack and it's kind of nifty i think so it comes with your standard uh it's a magnetic mounting but this is your 223 bore sight which is pretty cool let me open it up here and boom there it is right now what I like that they've done about this guy here is adding this magnet. You can <laughs> set it on the dust cover of your gun or any other type of magnetic surface and now it'll stay right put while you're doing your business, right? Pretty cool. On the back end of it, it does have your on off switch. So now that I've turned it on, got a nice little green laser there. Excuse my dirty hands. I was playing with a charred hand select to get the targets out. But anyway, now that we got the laser on, we can go ahead and start uh, dressing this guy up to get sighted in. But wait, it's a 223 bore sight. Let's find our shroud or case for 308. I think it's in the other one. And the guys, they got a bunch, obviously for a 50 BMG too. Uh, but anyway, let's just find this guy here. I already took the packaging out just so I would know it and I'm not hunting around on camera. And then you just feed that guy through there just like that. So all of these here have a 223, you know, 556 five, cutout, uh, even the 50 cal does, and you just feed the 223 bore sight in it, and now it's gonna be chambered for 308. So let's go ahead and enter this guy in the chamber. <clears throat> all right, takes a little bit of doing just to get it just right, because it is kind of funny, especially since it's attached to this cable. But once we got it in there, we are all set. Make sure it's nice and seated. And something I've learned is don't close the bolt on it. I think the cable shifting uh, might throw your zero a little bit. So let's just go ahead and you guys might be able to see it on target down there. It shows up nice and bright. It's a green laser, which is gonna be a whole lot easier to pick up during daylight hours. But we've got some decent overcast, which makes it perfect for some bore sight zeroing. So now what I can do is take a look here and it looks like I'm a little low and a little to the right. So if you're using a magnified optic, remember whenever you're making the adjustments up here on your knobs, keep in mind if you're turning it right for the top turret to go up, it's your point of impact that you're changing, not so much the reticle. I mean, yes, you're changing the reticle, but typically you kind of have to work in reverse, right? So just keep that in mind. It's kind of funny to think about but anyway so what I'm gonna do if my point of impact is low I'm just gonna move it up just a little bit and what that does is that drops your reticle just a bit all right and since I'm a little to the right I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at my this is the Leupold uh, Mark AR fantastic optic by the way check them out on our website if I'm a little to the right I'm gonna go the opposite direction and move it just a couple clicks left and let's see where we're at now uh, let's let's move it one click back right and I think we might be just right where we want to be. So let's go ahead and remove the bore sight. All right, and I'll probably get the shroud to come out the magazine well. There we go. All right, perfect. Now what we can do is go ahead and load up a magazine. Well, I've already got them staged over here. But let's go ahead and put a couple of shots on target. Let's see how close we are. And this is great. The bore sights are great to kind of get you, you know, somewhat close. Like I said, actually shooting the gun, see where your point of aim versus your point of impact is, is really gonna justify what changes you need to make for your zero. All right, let's take one of these Lancer mags with a few rounds in it here, and let's just see where we're at. Okay, let's just take one shot center mass and see if we've got a good hold. All right, so a little low. All right, but I am on target, which is great. So now from here, since I can see 
and I know exactly where my point of aim was. If you want a, a little trick, right? As long as you can identify your exact point of aim and your point of impact, you should be able to make the exact same adjustments to your optic and to actually put the crosshairs on where your point of impact was. And now you should be pretty well zeroed, all right? So I'm gonna do just that. So I remember where my point of aim was. So now I know that I want to move my impact up. All right, and a little more to the left, which I have to remember which way is, there we go. All right, now let's see where we're at. Let's take one more shot, center mass. Oh yeah, right on the money, exactly where I wanna be, okay? Might be a little difficult to see down range. That's also something that really helps whenever you paint your target, or there's a lot of targets out there that will actually help you <laughs> zero your optic if you are using a magnified optic that actually have your MOA squares on it, and then you can simply make your adjustments from your point of impact and say, oh, hey, I'm two MOA over. Let me go to MOA opposite direction. Point of impact will be right where I need it to be. Sweet, so now let's go for another one. Let's just go right for the dome piece. Let's go right for the head. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Oh yeah, I'm ringing it. All right, I think that's pretty much well sighted in. Now. That is for very easily, much so a magnified optic, okay? Now, <laughs> scopes, things like that make it super easy for you because all you have to do is twist some knobs, right? Easy day. Iron sights, a little bit different, but in my mind, I think they're actually maybe even easier because you're doing pretty much the exact same things, but take your AR, you have a front sight tool on there. All you really need to do is just change your elevation. Again, remember your point of impact versus your point of aim, and you can make those adjustments. Easy day, really. With the AR and you have a front sight post, you do need a front sight tool or a bullet. <laughs> That's typically what I use to go ahead and rotate that guy, all right? And actually, let me just show you what that looks like real quick. I'll be right back. All right, so like I was saying, right here, you'll notice you've got your front sight post, right? And then right above that, you'll see a little tab or a button. You actually depress that button and then rotate whichever way you wanna go for up or down. And it should say up, rotate to the left. Pretty easy. And remember, whenever you do that, you're actually gonna be putting the front sight post down, which is kind of funny to think about, right? So as you're moving down what you're doing is you're actually raising the barrel just a bit right so just keep that in mind whenever shooting and let's go ahead i haven't actually sighted in my iron sights on this guy just yet let's go ahead and take a shot see where we're at with it here another thing that helps guys just want to throw this out here is knowing your exact distance i know right now after measuring it and actually moving the target a few times and with this rangefinder here i'm sitting right at 25.5, good enough. I'm happy with that. Uh, so let's go ahead and take one shot and let's just see where my point of impact is on this guy. And again, I'm just gonna aim right where I think the carriage bolt is on this guy. Ooh, saw sparks on that one. <laughs> let's see here. Oh, we're actually looking pretty good there. Looks like I'm right under it actually. I might need to just throw off my uh, my windage here so I can show you guys. But if I did need to make changes, and yes, I removed the ACOG so I can use it as my spotting scope, right? If I did need to make changes, most of your iron sights have this little knob that you see right here for your windage. All that will do is shift your rear sight left or right. You'll also notice on this one here, this is a Knight's Armament uh, rear sight, uh, pretty much exactly what we're, we're issued still. Uh, you can actually set your zero and you can see here all the number indicators on this site. Set your zero, and then on this side there is a arrow. So right now it's at 200, I can change it to three, and then increments in between there, and then all the way out to 600 yards, all right? So pretty neat. I'm gonna take one more shot just to make sure I am right where I wanna be. And this time let's go for the head. All right, let's just see where I am at. Hmm, I pulled that one a little left. Let's take one more just to make sure that wasn't me. And let's just see here. All right, so I'm still a little left. So, and a little low on top of that. So what I'm gonna wanna do, just for a second here, again, 
notice I'm gonna go mm, judging off of where I am without actual, you know, scientific paper and MOA paper and a target. I'm gonna say, let's just go one rotation up and get this guy where I want it to be. Now you might not be able to exactly see what I'm doing on camera here because it is going to be difficult. And with a front sight tool, it's definitely a lot easier. But moving this guy around, trying to get that to go, all right. I think that'll be all right. Now, since I'm hitting a little to the left, I'm gonna to wanna to change my windage to hit right. So let's go ahead and just move right. Ah, let's just say four or five clicks. Let's see where we're at here. Take one more look through the ACOG. Uh, much better. Looks like I could come up a little bit more on the front sight, but my windage looks perfect and trying to get that guy to go like I said a little difficult with a bullet but oh well let's just take one more shot here oh a little too high on that one let's bring that back down all right let's see may have gone too far that was right at the top of the head there. So I think I went a little too far, guys, but I think you guys pretty much get the gist of it. I'm gonna move this one back just a tad bit and I should be pretty much right where I wanna be. Let's try that one more time. <laughs> that looks good from here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I think we're, I think we're doing all right now. So. I could also slide in my red dot, but red dots are pretty easy. Hey, <laughs> just keep making minor adjustments, left, right, up, down, until you start getting right where you need to be. Magnified optics, you guys saw that, easy day. And just remember, if you've got a nice stable platform, you can identify where your point of aim is. After you make that one shot, technically, or really, all it needs is just one shot and you'll be able to get that zero. If you got that nice stable platform, you can hold that exact same uh, position while shooting. You should be able to take that shot, see where your point of impact is. If you know your point of aim is here, then go over right so far, down so far, and now you should be set. Pretty easy if you ask me. And zeroing, eh, shouldn't take that long, but we've seen guys out here for a long time just trying to hit paper, but whatever. Anyway, guys, uh, talk about zeroing. We had a fun time zeroing this guy with Alex Zedra when we went out and shot with her and announcing this as our latest giveaway. This is the Barrett M107 50BMG with the EOTech Voodoo Optic, a three and a half power to 18 power optic, and it is absolutely beautiful, guys. I love this rifle, and it is a 10 round semi auto 50BMG rifle. So much fun, and again, we shot this with Alex Zedra. So if you want to see her do a run and gun with this against me, go check out our video announcing it as our giveaway and check out her own video too that she and her crew filmed. It's a good time. All right, let me know down in the comments, guys, if you have any other questions, concerns, tips for others who might be trying to zero their rifles. God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time at classicfirearms.com.